the direction of the relationship right uh, first we, you know when it comes to power bi we need to understand uh, what is um, unidirection relationship uh, unidirection and uh, bidirection okay unidirection bidirection by default uh, once you load the data into your power bi desktop the power bi automatically uh, detect the relationship between the tables and then it creates the the link here right so if we so look here here uh, it, it created a relation in a link here here it created a link here in the by direction i created it explicitly i just remove it now i just set it back to the default one this is the single one by default a single one okay if you see the arrow here from the dimension table from the dimension table the key columns in this case the customer id in this case the product id is the key column right all these key columns from your dimension tables are flowing from flowing down to your sales fact table you can see the arrow downward arrow which means the filtering is happening in this direction the filtering customer dimension table can filter sales fact table product dimension can filter the sales fact table but your sales fact table cannot filter back your product table and as well as the dimension table customer table customer dimension table because it is unidirection so only this guy can filter and this guy can filter but he cannot filter back these two tables if you want to use your sales fact table to filter your product table or the customer dimension table then you need to set it as a both the cross filter direction both okay this arrow indicates uh, in which direction the filtering happens okay uh, the, the one this one uh, it indicates uh, the customer table as the one side of the relationship similarly here the product uh, dimension table have the one side of the relationship this is the many side star is the many side the star indicates the sales fact table is the many side of the relationship okay the keys of uh, each dimension table will appear in the sales fact table for each transaction okay hence the key appears many times whereas here the key the customer id will appear only one time for each customer and for each product the product id will appear only one time but this is my transaction file let's assume that is a invoice right right uh, every day you will be generating thousands of invoices each invoice uh, maybe you know more than one invoice uh, would have been raised for a single customer okay and um, hence the customer id you can find it uh, multiple occurrence similarly product id you can find it multiple occurrence okay so now uh, what we will do is we will uh, this is a pretty straightforward one with this um, you know we can filter this table okay and uh, the cross filter direction both the bi direction relationship when can i do that when can i do that supposing i want to use my product dimension table to filter the customer dimension table is it possible to do that simple common sense question so can i use my product dimension table to filter my customer dimension table can i do that but i can do this because i have the relationship here here also i have the relationship. but here there is there is, there is no relationship exists between these two tables hence i cannot use my product table to filter my customer dimension table is there any way i can do it that's where the cross filter direction is very much helpful we will just take a look at uh, this example the one second let me just so this is the scenario okay and for example um i have i wanted to know how many number of products purchased by each customer and how many number of transaction made by each customer okay so here uh, i do the same thing here
I just create a table. Table uh, visual is very much helpful when it comes to troubleshooting everything. Okay, so I just use this one in this case. Okay, I wanted to know. Okay, I want to use my customer dimension table to filter the product dimension, but I don't have direct relationship between these two tables. For example, I have my uh, the what I will do is for our reference purpose, I will create uh, use another table. And I will just put uh, all the customer name here, customer ID and customer name. So, so that we will be able to understand how many customers do we have it. Our current customer will be just six customers or that. This is just for our uh, sake of understanding it. Okay, so, uh, to, to simplify your understanding, I just took less number of data. And what uh, I do here is, um, in this visual, I just drag and drop the customer name. I was talking about uh, using the customer dimension. Uh, we want to filter the product dimension. So what I do is I just go to the my sales fact table because customer dimension, product dimension, and sales fact table, only these three tables are linked. OK, and here in this case, uh, I just put something like uh, not sales amount. I, in this time, I'm not going to use sales amount because I want to compare that one here, the quantity, how much quantity we sold. And uh, OK, next one is I wanted to know uh, the customer ID here, not the customer ID. And here, I just put the product ID here. Even I'm going to remove the quantity at this moment, I don't need it. So my manager wants me to display how many number of products purchased by each customer. This column comes from where? Customer dimension. This column comes from product dimension. Okay, now the question is, okay, the product uh, related uh, keys are available here. Why do we need to bring in here? Okay, I, you know what I will do is I just put it here. And then this product ID comes from, look here, when you keep the cursor on top of dim product, right? When you move the cursor down here, this product ID comes from sales factorable. I just uh, go here and I select count here. But now uh, I have, since I have the relationship between the customer dimension table and then the sales factorable, this product ID comes from my sales factorable. Look here. Okay, it comes from my, this one. Since, since these two have one to many, it is doing the filtering, but customer dimension table and product dimension, you know, we don't see, we don't have any relationship. Hence, it is not doing any filtering. It is simply repeating the to total number of products, right? Uh, something like that. It's something weird. We are not able to make out at this moment what this 14 is all about. So now what I do is I just go to my model view. Since I want my customer dimension to filter this one, I, I will be enabling the bi-directional relationship between these two tables. Look here, cross filter direction. There are two properties, other one is single and other one is both. I select both here. Now, if you see the arrow, this one and this one, this is unidirection, this is bi-direction. Now, fact table can filter product table and product can filter this one. So dimension customer, the customer name can filter my fact table and fact table can filter dimension product. Now, if you see here, look here, beautiful. So the other day in the last uh, weekend, uh, there was some issue with the data. Now I fixed it. Now it's showing correctly. Because for, uh, the, for the demo purpose, I use I change some data on all. Look here. So what do you guys understand from this? Customer Chris, uh, total number of products eight and uh, product ID is 25. This one comes from where? Product dimension. You know, it is doing the filtering on the product dimension. It is doing the filtering on the sales fact table. I just write it here. Most of them, they get confused here. Uh, this one comes from sales fact, this product uh, ID. This one comes from product dimension, product dimension, dim product. 
this one comes from the customer dimension dim customer dim customer and sales client have one to many relationship hence it is doing the filtering correctly which means chris uh, you know uh, raise you know or raise 25 orders we can say that way okay raise 25 orders and what is this eight in total he purchase eight products that is what it says after i enable the bi direction relationship between these two tables you can see the the eight six it gives me the proper split and total if you add all the things for 14 earlier we were seeing 14 the same 14 was repeating uh, you know across these rows we were quite confused what is this 14 14 14 so now uh, even now right this is not uh, the correct one because if you count right yeah let's not go by this one at this moment we will ignore this one but if you see uh, each customer how many number of products they purchase it here what is the difference between these two you purchase let's say you purchase only two products so far but those two products you purchase 25 times that is what it says to verify that we will go to the data here and then look here what is the crisis uh, customer id c002 i just go here this is how you need to go and verify it in the real time project just go to the customer dimension table c002 okay now we will have to go to the sales fact table the sales fact table we will just filter c002 if you do it at the end what you can see it here 25 rows this customer chris c002 this is what is customer id he purchased you know 25 times how many items he purchased eight items so how do i check that the same data you can look here product id you just go here and then click on this drop down and you can see the products here right? unique products two four six eight these eight products and different occasions he purchased uh, you know he, he, he bought it in different time almost 25 times you bought it you know with the mix of these eight products now you understood now you understood the difference between this product and the product id so most of them they think uh, you know these two are same because the product id column name is product id but this product id comes from your sales fact table this will not give you the total number of products purchased by each customer you understood how many number of transactions uh, they made each customer you can find it but how many number of products they purchased it if you want to see it you can see it here only where in my product dimension table unless my customer dimension table filters my product dimension it is not possible to get this value similarly what i do is i just copy paste this one now what i do is i just uh, remove all these things now i take the product name and uh, uh, in product id uh, for the okay i just create another table now we are going to do the opposite Hardly we have this many number of products are there maybe 14 products are there that's all okay now we wanted to know each product purchased by how many number of customers okay and for that what i will i can do is uh, in the sales fact table uh, i can get the customer id here and then you just see here uh, you know here the down arrow is there right just click on it you will find uh, the aggregation function here since the customer id is the text data type we can see only this one first last count distinct count count you cannot do sum. If you do sum, it will not work, isn't it? Only sum and average, min, max will work on the numeric data type. Since the text, I'm going to select count. The same thing here, okay? And I can see that uh, 14 transactions happened uh, in the cashew net and coffee too happened. And uh, that is what I can see it here. And if I put this one here, and this customer id comes from my customer dimension table similarly i'm doing the count here you can see the 6666 
it is repeating it here cash on net purchased by how many number of customer if you need to know that you need to uh, use this table to filter this one if you want to use this table to filter you, let's say you, know, you want whichever table is your target table for that table and this table you need to see in this case this is my target table i want to filter this one in this case what you do is you just enable the bi direction relationship here and this is not required i just this if okay if i disable this, that report will show something or let it be there now if i go here this one comes from uh, the second one is comes from fact table okay i just move this up here you need to rename this column okay and uh, your how do i rename this you just go here and then um, rename for this visual you are not going to rename it for this uh, column it's a rename for this visual okay your cashew nut purchased by three customers and coffee purchased you wanted to understand which products purchased by you know more by the customer or you know uh, which products eggs eggs were purchased more you if you click on here it will do ascending if you uh, or if you click on it one more time it will do descending ascending and descending is possible by clicking on it if you click on it more than once it will right it will show the ascending or descending and you can see that uh, 15 transactions happen for x and uh, four customer purchased x and cash on at three customers ice creams three customers purchased and yogurt one one the least purchased one is the tea and shaving cream and these kind of things number of transactions are less here so now i understood each product uh, was purchased by how many number of customers and how many number of transactions they purchased this one and this one each customer purchased how many products the opposite right so this customer purchased eight product and if you click on it here it's already showing in the descending order if you click on yeah so it's already showing descending order okay these are top uh, you know five customers so at least in of top 3 or top 5 you can by descending by, you know sorting in descending order you can find out got it similarly you can uh, you know use the sales column also if you want to see the uh, you know what is the uh, how much money is spent some of sales amount we can use it here okay so with this itself we can find out how many number of times uh, how many number of products he purchased and that we verified with the data and hml you know he purchased so now you understood why we need to enable bi direction direction relationship okay cross filter direction both when we need to enable it what is cross filter direction the cross the filter direction will help us to propagate the value from one table to another table in this case uh, in earlier right initially these two dimension table were uh, uh, passing or propagating the product uh, id from this table to fact table and customer id from this table to this table to filter it you know what is filtering the very first session i explained right what is relationship what is filtering relationship is nothing but filtering without relationship you cannot do anything now you understood what is bi direction when we are suppose what is bi direction relationship if i want to filter use my fact table to filter product dimension or if i want my fact table to filter this one i need to enable cross filter direction not only if i want my fact table to filter customer dimension customer product dimension we enable bi direction relationship if you want to use these two tables product dimension customer dimension table if you want to filter it then you need to enable uh, the bi direction relationship between these two and then only you can filter it supposing i want to use this table to filter this one then this is my target table between these two tables i need to enable the cross filter bi direction relationship you understood it is that much simple but Uh, uh, it is not advisable creating the cross filter direction okay configuring the cross filter direction sorry the bi direction relationship is not advisable it can lead to severe performance issues okay it can lead to severe performance issues you just assume that in this table i have 1 billion records are there if it tries to filter the you know all the uh, dimension tables what will happen it takes lot of time 
So we have something called uh, the cross filter DAX function that is available. Like I have shown you how to enable the inactive relationship temporarily active using use relationship function, right? So temporarily you can enable the inactive into active, right? Using that function, DAX function. And like, like uh, active and inactive, uh, how we use uh, to activate the inactive into active relationship using DAX function. Similarly, to enable uh, the cross filter direction dynamically or programmatically, instead of manually go and configuring it, we can use a DAX function using which you can uh, dynamically enable the bi-direction relation between the tables. Okay, but this is not... Uh, so in that case, what will happen for, let's, you know, I created a measure in that measure. I'm doing the count of something, count of uh, product ID, something like that. So in that case, what will happen is uh, only for this visual, I'm using count of product ID, right? For only for this visual, it will enable the cross filter direction both. Okay. I'll just show you how to use a DAX function. In your, we have a separate um, session for DAX, uh, but uh, you know, in the for the sake of continuation, continuity, I just show you here. I just clicked on new measure. Look here, you need to click on the modeling ribbon, and here you will find the new measure. You just click on it. So you cannot use uh, the cross filter function, uh, you know, separately. You need to wrap the cross filter function using calculate function. It requires some helper function. Calculate is some kind of an helper function. But here, what we do is count of my uh, cust ID, something like that. So look here, the customer ID. I just use it here. Dim customer cust ID. Uh, okay. Now, what I will do is uh, we will use um, product, right? So, product ID. Product ID. Dim product ID. And then I'm going to say comma. Cross filter. Look here, you can see the syntax here itself. When you type cross filter, on top we can find it here. Left column name, right column name. I'll just type it here. The left column name is um, dim product uh, product ID. My target table is product uh, dimension. I'm using my customer dimension to filter that one. So what I do is. In product product ID, uh, comma, uh, and sales fact product ID, comma, both. The last argument is very much important. Here you need to specify both or single. Okay. So, yes. Sir. So, what happens is it, uh, it creates the bi direction relationship between these two tables using this key column. We know very well product ID is common between these two tables. Now we are creating the bi-direction relationship dynamically between these two tables. Okay, using cross filter function. It is not a standalone function. You need to call this function inside the calculate. And the, the calculate function takes the first argument as your expression in this case. Okay, what you do is you enable the bi-direction relation between these two and then you give me the uh, the number of uh, product IDs, okay, here. I just press enter, let us see if we have any syntax error. In case of any syntax error, it will throw an error. Okay, now we don't have any error. What I do is I just copy this and paste it here. I use, uh, instead of uh, count of product ID, okay, I just, uh, made a typo or typing mistake count of product id 
it shows correctly the measure which i created it this one uh, i am getting it because of the uh, link uh, you know the manual link i created so for example if i make it single it should be like this, this is what microsoft recommends okay don't enable bidirectional relationship unless it is really required don't enable it instead what to do is you can use a measure look here this this one i use it directly from the uh, product um, dimension table look here with my measure is doing perfect job right i just uh, yeah so this is not uh, the right way of doing it this is the manual config configuration but in this case uh, i have used this measure in this measure i am i enable the bi direction relationship between the product and sales fact table because i want to use my customer dimension to filter my product dimension table hence i need to enable the cross filter direction both between this look here the last option is both and also uh, i am using the count function and tell me how many number of products purchased by each customer okay this uh, this one the cross filter function will enable the bi direction relationship till it computes the total number of product id for each customer and then it will reset it back to the unidirection only okay what it see here i did not enable bi direction but still it is doing the filtering it since i disabled that one right i made it uh, i configured it back to single since i you know dragged and dropped it from this product dimension table directly it is repeating the same number it is not doing the filtering because it is not bi direction relationship but here programmatically i enable this one that is the difference between these two with this example hope you understood uh, you know how to uh, you know use what is cross filter uh, direction what are the properties are well single and um, both but single is the default one both you can configure it okay how do how do you configure it uh, what kind of situations you need to enable by direction that's what i explained you and also i have um, explained you that uh, enabling or configuring the by direction relationship manually here uh, will cause serious performance related issues especially if the volume of the data is very high okay if i don't enable the cross filter direction how can i you you know use my customer and to filter my product dimension there is a requirement there is a reporting requirement like this how can i do that that is where you can use the dax function the dax functions uh, you know is very much uh, handy mm, that comes for your rescue right uh, to do it dynamically instead of enabling it uh, here uh, the by direction okay so hope you understood the difference between single versus bi direction relationship and when to use uh, the uh, when to enable and uh, you know uh, the do's and don'ts right Ma the manual config is not preferable hence you can use the dax function to handle this one okay all right so we discussed um, about um, the date dimension also in the previous